Bonjour Montreal, je suis light. Uh, very happy to be. <laughs> Next thing on my bucket list, learn how to speak French. <laughs> I'm blushing. <laughs> I find the comic world and reading comics and collecting comics and creating comics the most inspiring thing because you don't feel boxed in and that's the worst thing that can happen to you as a musician and as a writer. You feel boxed in and, and reading comics is kind of freeing because, you know, there could be a planet with crazy aliens on it that live off of ice and I don't know. You can think of anything and it could be real. That's the coolest thing about comics and it's very freeing. Comics don't directly influence the songs themselves, more so the, the production around them, the art surrounding it, and the music videos. Aside from my new video for Ice, which I actually had so much fun making, and it's a sequel to the Savior video. Um, it, it includes, like, a, I, I hire a body double that looks just like me, and we do a fight scene, and there's, like, lots of really crazy things, like Mortal Kombat versus DC Universe, kind of. I tried to do you right. Even the comic that I've created, it's called Audio Quest, A Captain Light's Adventure, and I'm working with uh, Tom Coker from Marvel Comics, and um, uh, we've built up these sort of short episodes that are, that's a pretty much direct influence of comics on my art, and the music's in the background, and I do voiceovers for it, and I actually play a couple of the episodes at my shows. And, and Captain Light's is exactly like me, she looks like me, so it feels like I've finally become a superhero. Oh my, what are you little guys? We Wawas, who are you? I'm Captain Light, on a mission to harvest the sounds of the universe. There is a lot of speculation that I've changed my name because I want to be a superhero. It's more so just, it was my nickname forever. It came from my last name, Pox Leitner. And um, Pox Leitner's kind of complicated. And so it just became the short form version of that and then a nickname. And then since it felt so natural, I thought, why not tack to the front of my name to make it my first name? It's just one of those things you do that personalize you and make you that much more of who you're becoming, like getting a tattoo. This year has been insane. I mean, aside from a lot of great things that happened, like uh, the record coming out, my first record, and uh, a ton of music videos and like a remix CD, like a, a bunch of stuff happening. Uh, we calculated it last week, I think, and we've done over 150 shows this year. It's been probably the most exciting, uh, maturing year for me. I've learned so much about myself and become 10 times more wise than I was in 2008. <laughs> I could see how you could lose your bearings uh, with a bit of a chaotic lifestyle and um, the mishmash of being on a pedestal to some people and um, being very humbled in other situations when your shows go wrong or you see bad things about you online. And it's a very confusing mindset to be in, but if you're a confident person and if you're doing what you love and you know why you're doing it, it's easier to keep your head on. And if you have a good team around you, I'm actually so fortunate to have the best people on my team. I'm a big fan of social media and, and using all the online platforms that we have because it's a great way to communicate with people. So I'll often, you know, post video blogs, just updates or acoustic versions of my songs or sometimes I'll do live, tra live chats through my website. And I go up for an hour and play songs and answer people's questions. And it's really fun for me because as I'm doing bigger shows, it's harder to be able to go to the table and talk to people afterwards. So it's my perfect chance for that. So if you want to watch that sometime, keep posted and I'll do another one sometime.